Hey guys, this is New Sensei. Today we're taking a look at the Pocket Shot. The Pocket Shot is a circular handheld slingshot designed several years ago. Originally, the Pocket Shot was designed to shoot steel ball bearings, as typical of a slingshot. The designers later added a whisker biscuit for use with arrows, and in the 3.0 version of the Pocket Shot, they came up with a specialized pouch for shooting arrows. As a disclaimer to this video, the footage was filmed several months ago. Since then, there have been changes and improvements to the pocket shot and the packages sold. The kit I bought came with all the pouches, and for the most part the pouches were pretty useless to me since I didn't intend to shoot with ball bearings. The site now offers a different arrow only kit, so what you see in this review will be slightly different to what you can get now. The basic pocket shot comes in a very handy container. The default configuration uses the regular black pouch. The blue pouch is the pro pouch, which is meant to be stronger than the regular black pouch. The regular pocket shot is meant for ball bearings or other small ammunition to be inserted and shot. To use an arrow, the whisker biscuit is required. To install the whisker biscuit, simply screw the biscuit onto the pocket shot where the cap would normally go. This is, in fact, how the original pocket shot marketed its ability to shoot arrows. However, as you can see, the length you can pull it back to is very, very limited, giving it a low velocity. And so, the arrow pouch was created. The arrow pouch is much longer, allowing for a draw of up to 30 inches, which is what you would expect from a bow. To change the pouch, you need to loosen the pocket shot case. This can be done by using the reverse side of the cap, turning it until the pocket shot opens up. This then allows you to peel the latex pouch off. Take the replacement pouch and roll it over the lips of the pocket shot, then tighten back to its original position. The arrow knocks will pierce the latex pouch, so these rubber knock caps are needed. These go over the knock and also provide a place to grip. While you can use any arrow with the pocket shot, the site recommends its customized arrows. At the time of my purchase, these arrows were not available, and the site instead sold the Victory Ares Fiberglass Youth Arrows. Since then, those arrows have been taken off the shop, and the product page now specifically recommends that you avoid plastic or rubber fletchings. From experience, these veins can cause damage to the pouch, drastically reducing its lifespan. The pocket shot arrows use feathers and have a slightly different profile to most arrows used with bows. The way to use the pocket shot is to hold it from the front like this and pinch the end of the pouch. Uh, normally you would have the arrow and the knock inside here, so you pinch that and you pull. So the, it, look, it looks basically like this. It's not particularly hard, though there are a few nuances. When you first use the latex pouch, it can be quite stiff. Um, and it can be quite slippery as well, making it very hard to grip. And you see uh, quite a few uh, reviewers on YouTube, they kind of pull it back to around here and they shoot from here. Um, this is partial because I'm assuming it's brand new, so it hasn't stretched out. The pouch will eventually become easier to pull back after some repeated usage. The latex does become a lot easier to pull back. Additionally, um, as you pull back, the end of the pouch does become a little more grittier uh, from your uh, hands and your dirt and your fingers. So it becomes actually easier to hold. So rather than slipping, um, you'll find it easier to grip and pull back. Um, you might be tempted to hold the thing the other way. This is not very really effective, the reason being that the hand actually bends backwards when you do this. It's not really made to do that. Um, so while it may seem a bit more aggressive and accurate, um, it's actually not very biomechanic. Um, the correct way to hold is this. Same with a rifle. Um, you hold it like this for a reason. You actually push out and it follows the, the bow structure in your arm a lot more. The other thing is that uh, a lot of people may find attempting to pull back like this and in fairness, being a slingshot, um, you are to pull back using your arm and aim like that. 
But being an archer, I tend to use my back muscles more. So what I tend to do, I tend to hold straight and push out with the front shoulder while pulling back with the rear. That allows me to get the forward draw a lot easier, which is something a lot of people can't really accomplish. While this isn't a very strong pouch, it doesn't feel more than say 20 pounds, um, just the fact that it's a little more awkward means you do have to apply some principles of archery to get it right. That said, there are some downsides. Um, there are no sights, it's a slingshot. You, it's very really hard to aim with this thing, there's no reference point. You could um, use your hand or pal the, uh, the grip as a reference point, but honestly, you're basically going to be instinctive most of the time. The second thing which I tend to do, especially once it's stretched out, is I tend to anchor. This is something which is the archer in me coming out. Um, I pull back and touch something. Now I do a couple of variations. Uh, I might sometimes do it this way and actually using my cheek. Um, I might also use an inverted grip, like a compound um, back tension release, and pull it this way. It's kind of sometimes easier to get a reference point like this. So from the front, this is what it looks like. Uh, a couple of things too which make it hard, uh, it's still a lot of left-right um, variation. So you will find that this, as a right-handed shooter, I will tend to drift towards the left because I'm not actually anchored straight under my jaw, I'm more towards the right side of my face. Additionally, it's very easy to torque the front of this uh, pouch. So you may find that the arrows will not go where you think they are. And it might be because of your lack of anchor, or it might be because of the fact that you're not pointing the right way. So let's do a few shots. As I don't have a proper set of feathered arrows, I'll be using my Eastern ACEs, which are quite excessive for what I'm doing here. This first sequence is with a brand new pouch, so it does take a while to get the pouch into a comfortable full draw. I'm also holding my spare arrows with my gripping hand for speed loading, since you're probably not going to be using a quiver for the pocket shot.
So, does it work? Yes, uh, you definitely saw me hitting the target most of the time, some of the time. Uh, but yeah, the pocket shot works. Uh, it does function as advertised, so no complaints there. Um, it's very hard to shoot accurately, as you can see, um, even though I'm aiming for a fairly large target at a relatively short distance, um, I'm not that bad of a shot, really I'm not, uh, but it's kind of hard to aim. Um, again, uh, there's no real aiming method, and I've been trying to figure one out over the last couple of weeks, but I haven't managed to do something. Um, it's mostly instinctive, and I guess if you practice enough with it, uh, especially with the reliable instinctive method, then you could presumably get a relatively good grouping, assuming all things come to place. That said, um, they're just, it's just too easy to port this thing, um, and it doesn't come out the way you expect it to fly. Um, it's definitely not a bow, and a bow is a lot, you know, when you use this, and you use a bow, you appreciate how much more stable a bow is, and it really is a huge difference. So there really shouldn't be anything that should ruin the flight of the arrow, but it doesn't come out as cleanly. And this is again partially because of the way it's um, pulled back, also the way you might twist the front of the, um, the, the pocket shot, so it can really come out as clean as what you think you are. Uh, so apart from the erratic shooting, and again, if practice you could tighten it, but I don't find it that reliable. Um, the penetration of the, the power of this pocket shot, again, isn't that great. Um, it, you know, some of the shots bounce off. Now, this particular target at our club uh, is a little soft in the center, so the plastic inside tends to rebound arrows. From bows that are shot from, uh, from arrows shot from bows that are under 20 pounds. Uh, with a 40 pound plus or a 30 pound plus, this will go right into it. So um, it doesn't have that much power behind it. Uh, if you're actually trying to use the hunt for something, you might find it's too weak with sort of thing. Um, the only other, I guess, downside is it's not that durable. I'm a little disappointed. Um, the two things which go wrong, uh, firstly, the, uh, the rubber knocks. Um, this one, uh, I didn't show on camera, but the end has split. So the, uh, the knock itself has um, cut through the rubber um, and it's still usable but it's, um, the, the pointy bits will jut out through the end of the knock which means it might damage the uh, latex pouch which is the second point of weakness. Um, I just wasn't very really happy with the first pouch only lasting about an hour. Uh, that one, I don't, know, just, I don't know what happened, whether the knock um, scratched it or the, by pulling it back it, um, it tore a hole in it. I'm not sure what happened, but the short lifespan of a pouch does make it less viable for continual use. I would expect something like this to last for hundreds of shots, if not thousands of shots. That might be ambitious, but if you're paying money, I mean, if you're getting shipped from like America, then um, you'd expect this to last. Uh, the fact that the extra pouches, you get like three pouches, which is good, but the fact that you need three pouches is a little worrying. I imagine if you're only getting this for the ball bearings and the, the smaller pouches, it's not as bad, but if something requires this much pull, this length to pull back, I think that might be pushing the design of the pocket shot. Overall, the pocket shot is fun to use, I'll give it that. It's something which I might keep in my bag and my car and occasionally pull out to shoot for fun in the shed uh, with the club guys. Um, will I win any tournaments with it? Well, no, definitely not. Uh, but it's a fun little I'd say it's a toy. I mean, uh, things like bows and slingshots aren't necessarily toys, but this feels like a toy. And for me as an archer, I would probably keep it as a toy. I might hand somebody else and have some fun with it, uh, but not shoot seriously. Um, is it practical? Um, and a lot of people who do this are outdoors people. In my opinion, I don't think it's practical. Um, it's, it's something which you can just put in your pocket. Even if you don't carry the, uh, the box or the tube around, you can put, put it in your pocket and it's really convenient. Um, you can take it out and use. But I don't think it's that useful. Um, just the lack of any way to aim it um, makes it a very short range tool. 
And if you're actually using this for survival situation, I think you may be better off with other options. Uh, it's probably better than nothing, um, but I might consider carrying like a survival bow uh, rather than a pocket shot. But um, it has its appeal. Uh, I'm not an outdoors guy. I can't say that this doesn't work outdoors. Uh, I'm sure somebody else will chime in and vouch for it or against it. Um, but I don't feel that this is reliable enough or durable enough for use in the field. Uh, as a footnote, um, if you do want to bring it out with you in the field for hunting or survival, you really have to practice with it. Um, I've only shown it for you know, a week or two weeks, so I'm not thoroughly impressed, but I haven't trained with it. Um, I guess if you practice with it consistently and you know how it works, then it could be used viably as a tool for the outdoors. Um, but I, I'm not too sure. Uh, if, if the thing doesn't break on you, then I guess you can practice with it. But uh, again, I'm just not sold on the flexibility and durability of this particular item. It's worth mentioning that Pocket Shot have recently released the Hammer Grip, which gives the Pocket Shot more of a conventional slingshot grip. This will probably give it a lot more stability and accuracy than holding it by the circular frame. My overall opinion, it's gimmicky, it can be fun to use, not the most useful item, but if you're curious, it's worth a shot. Anyway, this is New Sensei, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.